Fracture complication in children. Certain fracture give certain complications in children. I'm going to outline the fractures that have specific complications. Supracondylar fractures of the humerus will give cubitus varus and also can give Volkmann ischemic contracture. Lateral humeral condylar fracture will give cubitus valgus and nonunion. Radial neck fracture in children have an association with compartment syndrome. Mid diaphysis, radius, and ulnar fracture, the patient will get refracture, especially after removal of the hardware. Growth plate injury of the distal ulna can give growth arrest in about 50% of the cases. Now we go to the lower extremity. Femoral neck fracture will give osteonecrosis. Femur fracture below the age of 5 years old will give overgrowth. Femur fracture treated by external fracture can give refracture. Distal femur growth plate injury will give growth arrest in about 60% of the cases. Physial injury can lead to physial bar and growth arrest. If the bar in the peripheral area, you will get an angular deformity. If the bar is central, you will get shortening. Proximal tibial epiphyseal injury will give a vascular injury. Proximal tibia metaphyseal injury will give progressive valgus. Tibial tubercle injury of the tibia will give compartment syndrome. Medial malleolus fracture of the ankle, Salter Harris 4, have a high rate of growth disturbance. Distal tibia physial injury will give rotational deformity with increase in external rotation of the foot. There is also a specific nerve injury for a specific fracture. Anterior interosseous nerve injury can occur from extension type of subracondylar fracture of the humerus. An under nerve injury can occur from flexion type subracondylar fracture of the humerus. An under nerve injury can also occur from medial pins to fix the subracondylar fracture of the humerus. Posterior interosseous nerve injury can occur in Montagia fracture. Thank you very much. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.